hope you are all really well. Welcome back to my channel. So, as 2014 ends, I am going to do my favourites of 2014. This is going to be a bit of a mix of makeup, skincare, films, candles, food, drinks, bags, a bit of everything that sort of made me think, hmm, that's quite good for 2014. So I'm going to start off with the bag I've been using the most. It's a really slouchy grey leather, really soft, soft bag from Next. I got it actually last Christmas. Um, and then ended up, it ended up going into the sale in January for half price. So I could have got it for 16 quid, but hey ho, doesn't matter. So yeah, it's just a really good everyday bag. Um, I use it quite a lot for uni, just to throw stuff in and throw my lunch and stuff in and drinks and whatever. So yeah, that was my favourite bag of 2014. So... My favourite drink of 2014, non-alcoholic may I add, has been the Robinson's Orange and Pineapple No Added Sugar Squash. Um, this one is a single concentrate so you sort of need to do a wee bit, use a wee bit more. But it's lovely, it's just really refreshing, there's no added sugar so it won't play havoc with my diabetes too bad. Um, and obviously it's far better for you than fizzy drinks. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually going to put everything into this bag so it's not that much of a mess to clear up afterwards. Uh, my favourite sort of like biscuity thing uh, breakfast cereal would be the Belle Vita breakfast milk and cereal. It's like an oaty whole greeny bar. Basically, I I have to take medication in the morning and I'm really not the best of people at eating breakfast. So I was actually recommended those by the diabetic consultant. And it's actually a good thing. It's got Scott on to eating breakfast as well. So he'll have a little packet of those and a cup of coffee in the morning, most mornings. Uh, my favourite snack... As bad as it is, I have got, you can hear them already, a really bad obsession with KP nuts at the moment. Really bad obsession. And they say, oh, I think you could have heard that. The cat's on a bit of a mad one today. <laughs> um, yes, they say nuts are good for Alison. Shouldn't have said that on YouTube. And any of you girls watching out there, you know I was being innocent. <laughs> so yeah, um, I know they say nuts are good for you. But, yeah, I could just sit and eat those all night. So yeah, once that packet is finished, I'm not bringing any more into the house. So Scott, if you're watching, don't bring me any more. <laughs> Um, the next, that's all for sort of food and drink. The next thing is my favourite candle. And that is easy. There's no doubt about it. It's the Yankee Candle Clean Cotton. This was actually my mum's favourite one. So, uh, yeah, my dad bought it for me. It was like a few months after my... Harlequin's really going nuts today. Um, yeah, Dad bought it for me a few months after Mum died. And I've just been buying them ever since. I burned this one in the bathroom now because Scott actually just got me a new one for Christmas. So I've put it into the living room. It's behind me. So I burned this to get the use out of it in the bathroom. It's just a really fresh, clean smell. It's not harsh, um, it's just really clean, so it is lovely. I actually bought the um, the car air fresheners the other day. 
but they're actually very very strong so I think it's going to take a wee while to get used to it. So on to beauty products. I have been loving this Batiste Floral Essences. Um, excuse the noise in the background, Harlequin's deciding to use the litter tray while I'm filming. She knows how to pick her moments, doesn't she? So yeah, the Batiste Dry Shampoo, um, it's just good for off days that you, you know, the days in between that you don't want to wash your hair. Um, it gives it loads of boost in life. Um, the only thing is you have to be really careful that you spray it you know, quite a bit away or you could get little white patches. But yeah, I'm loving that and I'm loving the scent of it. Normally I would go for the original one, but I love that one. The next thing I am loving, um, now it's all over YouTube, so I'm sure you guys will all have seen it. It's the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Basically, it seems to be a cheaper version of the Bioderma. Now, um... I've never used the Bioderma, but this is my second bottle of the Garnier one and I like to use it just on a cotton pad uh, over the eyes, give it a few seconds and then wipe it off very gently obviously um, and just initially cleanse my face with it and then I'll go on and use my Liz Earl. Um, so the next skincare is the body shop it's the pawpaw or papaya I'm not sure actually which one how you pronounce that it's the body butter and this is a new one of these because I had ran out so I got one at Christmas it's absolutely beautiful it really is gorgeous and it's so moisturizing so that's definitely been a firm favourite in 2014. Uh, my favourite perfume in 2014 has been the Emporio Armani Diamonds. This is the little mini one I got with a set that my best friend Joanne bought me last Christmas. I just keep this one in my handbag and it's gorgeous. So many people have commented on it. So I definitely think when that's done I'll be repurchasing. Uh, this is something I only discovered in 2014. It's the Lush Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. Now, I would have never used a lip scrub before. I would have just used, you know, the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream. But my lips have been quite bad this year for some reason. And I was recommended that on Twitter from a few people. So I got this while up in Belfast in wait, August or September. And it is absolutely amazing. This is my second tub of it. And oh, well, there's not too much out of this second one. But I would do this maybe every other night, every three nights. And it's lovely. My favourite exfoliator of 2014 has been the Declior Aroma Cleanse. It's the cream exfoliant. I did do a blog post on this so you can go check that out. I got the Origins. The, is it the Derma Brush? The Gentle... The Gentle Friction, that's what it's called. The Gentle Friction for Christmas. But I've only used it a couple of times so I don't really feel that I can give a good, honest, you know, review on it yet. And I wouldn't class it as my favourite for 2014 but this is fantastic. Um, I think this is going to be one that I will go between it and Origins. So there's not too much left in this. This is the second tube so I definitely know that this will be getting purchased. Another skincare product is the Biotherm Blue Therapy. It's the Serum Night Oil. I was actually sent this by a really good friend. He's um, He works in the beauty industry and he sent me that just to try because I was having quite a few problems with my skin. 
and that is fantastic. I use it at night time underneath my moisturiser and it's definitely became a favourite for 2014 without a doubt. Um, it's not the cheapest of products to buy but I firmly believe if you're going to spend the money, spend the money on skincare and then you can get away with a cheaper makeup regime. So speaking of makeup, on to my favourite makeup for 2014. There's not a wild lot here. A couple of lip products and a couple of eye products. The eye products, I started my MAC palette in like October or November. And the All That Glitters has become a firm favourite. Um, even that on its own over the MAC Paint Pot Painterly is really, really pretty. It's just a little sheen of colour. So yeah, that's definitely a firm favourite. Um, lipsticks. It's the Cream Sheen Hang Up from MAC. Now, this... I'm not sure if this will focus in. But it's a really, really dark, dark... purple berry I was using it on top of an Avon colour um, I don't think I could personally get away with this on its own but it's so moisturising and so creamy it's lovely it really really is nice so I recommend that for next winter for anybody another favourite without a doubt has been the Essence Brands XX XL Long Lasting Lip Gloss. It's the matte effect one and it's in the shade 06 Soft Nude. It's it's lovely and I had never came across a nude lip colour before. It has this it has a little sheen to it but you can tell it's a completely different texture and it smells of chocolate it's absolutely gorgeous so that's definitely a that's definitely been in my handbag a lot and then the last lip product is the it's the MUA the PowerPoint in Runway it's one of these it's like the crayons now I was using it a lot in the spring and summer obviously not in winter the, the colour is just not right for me for winter but it's this lower one. It's a corally pinky, you know, it's it's a, just a really nice spring summer shade and it sits well with my pale skin. I think these are about three pounds in super drug. And then the last makeup has been, excuse the uh, shape of the tin, it broke. It's the cult classic, YouTuber's favourite, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent. I uh, have tried quite a lot of just, you know, a pressed powder. I've tried Max Skin Finish and Natural. Goodness, I've tried, I've tried quite a lot of them, put it that way, but... I must admit, I just keep reaching for the Rimmel Stay Matte. So it's been in my handbag, out of my handbag, in my makeup bag. So yeah, you can see that it's been well loved. And the brush I love to use with it is the Real Techniques Powder Brush. It's so soft, it picks up just the right amount of product. Um... It's got a lovely shape on it, it's very easy to clean. There's not a lot of fallout of the bristles or anything, so that's definitely been a firm favourite. And the last favourite of 2014 has to be the lipstick I'm wearing. It is number seven and it's the brick red colour. Uh, number seven in Boots are actually doing you can go in and get your skin tested for foundation and lipsticks and it works with your skin tone if you're warm, you're cool, you're neutral um, 
and I went, I basically went in and said to the girl, I would like a red lipstick that is going to work with my skin tone. And she took the machine and she put it on my hand to get the sh shade for foundation. And then from the shade of foundation, they were able to work with the shades for lipsticks. So yeah, it's a matte lipstick. It is quite drying, but I like the colour of it, so I don't mind it. Um, it lasts, it lasts a good amount of time. Um, I have found myself putting a little bit of clear gloss over it just to give it a wee bit of a sheen. And I've also used Max. I think it's Russian Red, is it called? Or the Ruby Woo. One of their really high shine red lip glasses with it uh, on a night out with a nice smoky eye. So yeah, those are my favourites for 2014. It's been a mixed bag. <laughs> I find some fab products and I find some really terrible products in 2014. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, don't give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Just come and whisper and let me know. Uh, as I say, this channel is very new. Uh, I started off vlogging and then I decided to go into normal videos. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know of the setup and stuff. So yeah, lots of love. Bye.